All right, class, our next thing that we're going to talk about is push and pull factors. It's going to start with migration, kind of work from there. Remember our de good definition of migration are people or animals moving around from one place to another, and it's a temporary move. Uh, then we have immigration. Immigration is where people uh, move to a new country, and it's a permanent move. So migration is always temporary. Immigration is always uh, permanently. So what are some reasons that people might migrate or immigrate? So think about some reasons that people might do it. It could be for a better job, it could be for more money, it could be for a lot of different things, and people are always gonna to have to make those decisions. Uh, what we call this are push and pull factors. So yes, this is from the movie 300. Yes, I know that's terrible. Uh, but a push factor is something that pushes you away, so something that makes you go away from something. And then a pull factor is the opposite. So a pull factor is gonna be, if I could ever change this piece of paper, a pull factor is going to be something that brings you into a country. So we're looking at push factors always are negatives that push you away, and pull factors are always positives that make you want to come to a place. So let's think about this. A natural disaster, a place that's prone to lots of natural disasters, would that be a push or pull factor? Just jot this down and tell me what you think it is at your desk. Religious persecution, that means that people have are not allowed to follow the beliefs and belief systems that they are accustomed to. Is that going to be a push or a pull factor? Um, what about more money? Is that going to be a push or a pull factor? Famine or a shortage of food, is that going to be a push factor or a pull factor? Good climate, is that going to be a push factor or a pull factor? Education, is that going to be a push factor or a pull factor? After you have finished going through those, what I'd like you to do is jot down three more things that may be a push factor and three more things that may be a pull factor. All right, get that done. You got two minutes.